the area of a triangle where we don't have the height can be solved using the area formula from trigonometry. And so that's this formula. Now the way that that formula works is you need an angle and you need two sides next to the angle. We're trying to find the area of ABC. So there's multiple ways to do this question. You could do one, you could do the whole triangle or you could do two separate triangles and add the answers together. But if we could use this triangle, What's nice about that is if we could find this angle, then we've got this entire length and we've got this entire length. So that takes care of the whole triangle. So let's try to find this angle. Now we can't use the sin rule because, I mean, you could say that those two are opposites, but then we don't have any other opposites in that little triangle. But what we could use is the cos rule in reverse because with the cos rule, this part here, is always opposite the angle. These two are always next to the angle. And then this is the angle. So we can just do it in reverse. The side opposite the angle is three. So we can say three squared equals two. And then the two sides next to would be the seven and the five. Students always ask me, does it matter which one comes first? Not at all. You can do any one you want. And then it's just gonna say cos of angle B. Another common thing that students do is they try separate this and they keep they try join it with those please remember that these are all times together so they are stuck what you can do though or a nice approach is to take this whole part to the left okay so that's going to give us just to get rid of the negatives so that's going to give us 2 times 7 times 5 times cos beta on the left equals to 7 squared plus 5 squared minus 3 squared on the right and so what you can then, okay, so you can type all of the right hand side in on the calculator. There are other ways of doing this, by the way. So if you do it differently, it's absolutely fine. So that's going to give us, and then a few times these two, to, these three things together, it's going to give us 70. So we can say 70 cos B is equal to this part becomes 65. You can then divide by 70. You can then say shift cos of 65 over 70. And you'll find that that angle is 21,79 degrees. So we now have this angle. Now we can use the area rule because we can say that the area of ABM, oh no, we want the whole one, ABC is going to be equal to a half. Now we can choose the 7 and then we can choose this whole length which is 6 plus 5 is 11 and then sin of the angle between which is the new one that we've just found. Go ahead, type that all in and that's going to give us 14.29 centimeters squared.